For concrete orders and dispatch, press one. It's 2.7 yards, so that's eight yards. That's, call it eight yards, and you still gotta hold another yard. This should've, we should've finished off here. You got about a half yard in the, on the hopper. Well, I knew it was gonna be a problem when they got the trucks out of Oakland, when a plant, when one of their concrete plants were down the street, literally 10 minutes from the job. So I just said off the top, we're going to have issues today. And lo and behold, we did. The first truck came. It was a handwritten tag. I knew it was going to be problems. 1,542 square feet equals approximately 19 yards. You always order extra half a yard. Yard extra, which would have put us at 20 yards. We ended up with 24 yards to complete this job. So you're going to see me in the video more than I normally am on poor day. Just taking measurements, checking and double checking. It was very frustrating because I got the run around from the concrete plant. And it's only one out here now that they bought up all the little concrete plants. So enough with my rant. I hope everyone is doing well and staying positive. Again, this is part three. You can check out parts one and two below. I did slow the time lapse down a little bit to kind of give you guys a more real time look at what it takes to pour a patio this size. This was what they call a picture frame finish. So it's a lot of details in it. Actually, I brought out one extra finisher just so we can stay on top of it. And I'm glad we did. Our trucks were supposed to be 20 minutes apart. Let's just say they was 40 minutes apart. Sit back, relax. I'm going to let it play out. Jump in and out on the narrative a little bit. If you guys have any questions, you know, you can leave them below. And while you're down there, you can like the video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't. 816 plus 403 plus 221. That's 1440 divided by 80. 1440 divided by 80. That's 18 yards. So this is probably about the fifth time me measuring out here. I'm just double checking now. I know my, my lead JD is OCD when it comes to this grading. 
So I wasn't so much worried about the grading. It was just a matter of me trying to explain to the concrete company. Now, you know, that I'm a small company. Hey, we're four yards short. I, for some reason, I just felt that I was going to get the, uh, the runaround. But we're still measuring the guy still out here showing out making sure everything stay on point here you can kind of see we have what they call a cold joint as we wait for the next truck now this load should have got us to the fence which is about 18 yards so i am glad that i brought the extra finisher out kind of help us stay in front of uh the project and that's where you know experience and teamwork comes into play at now, you know, if you're in the Sacramento Bay Area, you can hit us up. All our information is below. So you probably can tell we're already starting to broom finish uh, the first half of the concrete and we're still waiting on that second truck. Now that second truck was six yards so it should have took us right out to the uh, driveway which it did. But again this is where experience and teamwork comes into play at guys standing in front of the concrete making sure it's not drying or drying up on us too quick. Now you do want to stick around to the end because I'm going to show you guys how we go about making these smooth edges for this picture frame. I think it's something neat. We ended up using the clamps from the uh, concrete pump. So check that out, stick around to the end and you also can um, see some after pictures of how this project turned out. It did turn out nice, I was happy about it. The client was happy, the killer bees was gone. If you don't know what I'm talking about when the killer bees come, check out part one and two and you'll get it.
So with this project, we did have a couple hiccups. Most of our jobs were hitting on all cylinders, but I hate to blame it on the concrete plant, but they kind of screwed this one up for the most part. Not so much that the concrete was bad, but the trucks were 40 minutes apart. They should have been 20 minutes apart. They got a concrete plant 10 minutes up the street. They came out of Oakland. So just a very frustrating day, but I did stay positive. That being said, if you're in the Sacramento Bay Area, hit us up. All our information is below. Everyone else, super appreciate you checking us out. Super appreciate you taking the time. And if you guys are enjoying these long format videos, please leave a comment down below or a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate that. And with all that being said, remember, it's cool to ask for help. Hang around people that are positive and catch you on the next one. Thank you.